Now before you ask where I have been, here is a free recharge voucher for you to skip that question, okay? Now if you actually do recharge this voucher and it works, shout out to you and hit me up in the comment section below so I know who the early bird is, okay? Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. My name is Matt Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore. Walk by faith and not by sight. So, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at bearings. Okay? So, here we have find the different bearings below, which is A, B, C over here. Okay? Now, before we attempt these examples, there's two properties which I would like to point out that will help you nail this type of questions. So property number one, always start at the north, which is over here. Now the north is our zero degrees, okay? Think of it as um, grade zero or pre-primary, okay? Which is where you started in the schooling system. You start in grade zero and then primary, and then eventually you are in high school, isn't it? Now, in bearings, we start at the north. So, the north is our pre-primary or our grade zero, okay? Now, property number two is that when you start at the north, you always move in a clockwise motion, okay? What does this mean? Let me just draw the lines. It, this means when you start from the north, you move in this direction, okay? This is what we call a clockwise motion. Now, if you have an analog watch or a clock somewhere in your house, you can check to which side is the arm of that clock or watch ticking. That's what we call clockwise motion. Okay? Now, when you start from the north until the east here, you get a 90 degree. Now remember to always start at the north. When you start at the north again and you go until the south over here, you get a 180 degrees. Why? Because it's a straight line. Okay? Now, again you go start at the north. When you start at the north again with a clockwise motion until the west over here, you get a 270 degree. Now the same goes again when you start at the north and you go until up here at the north behind, which will give you a 360 degree, which is a revolution. Okay? Now with these properties out of the way, let's quickly look at the examples. So let's start with A. We are looking for the bearing of B from A. Okay, so it says from A. Where is A? So A is here, meaning A is in the middle. Where is B? B is up here. Meaning what we are looking for is actually... Now, remember you have to start from the north. What we are looking for is actually from the north towards B. Meaning, it's until here. Now, how do we find this? This is actually very easy. Because if you take a closer look, here we have what we call complementary angles or this is a complementary angle now some people will wonder what is a complementary angle this is basically angles that add up to 90 degrees because remember when you come from the north to the east over here it's a 90 degree so meaning these two angles should add up to 90 now that is basically easy because what you are looking for is the complement of 45 degrees what do i mean by this you simply take the 90 and then you subtract the angle that you are already given, which is 45 degrees. Now, if you subtract 45 degrees from 90 degrees, what answer do you get? You get 45 degrees. Now, remember, guys, once you are working with bearings, you always give your answer as a three digit. So if you get a two digit answer, for example, like this 45 over here, you put a zero in front. Okay? So this is our answer for A. Let's take a look at B. B says the bearing of C from A. So we know A is in the center. But where is C? C is here. Okay. So we always go start at the north. 
Now, if you are starting from the north, we move towards the sea that we are looking for. Okay, here is the sea. So, meaning it's there. Okay. So, from the previous example, we know that this is 90 degrees. And then from 90 degrees towards here, that will give us 180 degrees because it's a straight line. And then, now notice one thing here. C does not go until W or the west, which is 270 degrees. There's like a gap here. And you are given an extra angle here to say this angle is 77 degrees. And that angle actually is where C is ending. Meaning you are basically looking for this whole angle from the north towards C. Now to find this bearing is very easy. If you know that until here is 180 degrees, you can basically take that 180 degrees and then you add that angle that goes until C, which is 77 degrees. What answer do you get? 257 degrees. And that's your final answer. Easy, isn't it? So that's your answer for B. Now before we get to example C over here, how are you finding this video so far? Is it helpful? If yes, please do support the channel by giving us a huge thumbs up and subscribing with notifications on. Okay? As a matter of fact, here's another recharge voucher to whoever made it until this part of the video. Hit me up in the comment section below. Huh? Say you took the second air time or something. Okay? Back to the lesson. Now C says the bearing of D from A. So A we know is in the center. Where is D? D is over here. Okay. Now we always go start where? At our grade 0. Which is our north. And we move in a clockwise motion. Towards the D. Where is D? D is over here. Good. Now, we know already this is 90 degrees plus another 90 degrees. That is 180. It's a straight line. And then here, that will give us 270. Now, from 270, there is another car angle here that now that we need to add huh, to this that we are looking for. Because remember the D doesn't go until 360, which is a revolution. We, we need our angles that we are looking for to go until here, yeah, there. So what do we do? Now this can be a bit tricky, but very, very easy, guys. Look, if you know that a full circle, or if you go until the north here is 360, which is a revolution, and you are given an extra angle here, which you don't need, why not take that 360 and subtract that angle, huh? For you to get what you are looking for. So we take the 360 and we subtract it. Hmm? We subtract this 55 degrees from it. And then we get our answer, which is 305 degrees. And that's basically your final answer. So the bearing of D from A is 305 degrees. Okay? So that's your final answer for C. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like subscribe turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload share with friends family and classmates and remember together we rise to higher heights apart we all stay behind cheers